Hello, more robots again. Um, they just keep coming, and I keep forgetting to put certain ones in. So um, I'm going to start with buying because I've been buying again, not Robot Wars specifically, but we do have um, a battle bot. Now, if you've seen previous videos on this channel, you'll know I have the BattleBot um, Bite Force Clutch and Clash, but I now have the Bronco Clutch and Clash, which is awesome, love it, really cool, and the really easy way of disconnecting the clutch, so it's just a, a clutch, um, which is Slightly less appealing because this bit doesn't come up in the middle. Ta-da. Not for you. But still, awesome. Um, now we'll come back to buying because I want to come back to buying. We shall go to building. Building. Now, I promised you an update on Gabriel when it was done. It's done. And here it is. One Gabriel really happy with how this came out. The middle section moves on its own independently because of um, a Technic bit going right the way through. Um, all of these bricks here have holes in. Um, I could have done it a different way. Didn't um, because I've wired it this way. So that's that. Um, yeah, really happy with how this came out. Again, added glue to this because uh, otherwise it would just fall apart. This bit especially would just come off and we've got the self-writing bits on the side so you, when it's actually on its side it just sort of drives forward a bit and it writes itself which is basically how they do it in the show as well um that's that one building still now i was looking up uh sort of different fidget spinners to use as weapons on the robots and i came across this really odd one and I found it and it was just somebody had made it on a 3D printer. And then I found a website on how to buy it. And so I did. Um, and it's it's created a masterpiece called Roland. <laughs> because he has such a happy little face. I say happy. He sort of looks like an old man with his, with his eyes and his nose and his moustache and his eyebrows. Um... So yeah, he's Roland. He's a he's a beta bot, which is a very US style. But yeah, this is Roland. Got some battle scarring. I sort of went for a worn look with Roland because all of my robots are just so gosh darn fresh looking. Um, but yeah, the beta bot. Let's see it go round, shall we? It doesn't spin for all that long, which is a shame. But it's still cool to see. Um, so yeah, this is Lego, this is fidget spinner, this is plastic because the bits that are holding it are actually parts of a pen and it's cardboard and it's got Lego wheels that actually move for once instead of it just sort of scraping. So yeah, that's it's a really nice little build. Didn't take all that long, went together relatively easily except for the top panel which didn't and the wheels got stuck once but... Needs a little more glue, I think, in certain places, so I may do that. But that's not a necessary update for you guys. Um, troubleshooting. I've troubleshooted Apollo, and I decided it was wrong. Broke it, and just not worth it. So uh, I took it apart with my knife, drew around all the bits so I didn't have to mark them out again with a ruler, and I rebuilt completely Apollo. Now it's very slightly different, you'll see side panels are white instead of black in the sort of lower part. Uh, these panels are too small, but this bit is just about right. Um, I've also 3D-ized it. I've used harder plastic, which if I knock, you can hear, it is not plastic, cardboard. I've used harder cardboard. I've used the ruler again inside. Um, I, I've got this section raised because it is on the actual robot carbide laid into that bit um but yeah and it as ever flips 
Now it's all very sturdy. I think the toughest part is probably up here and about here because it wasn't overly well weighted. Um, so I, I taped in a coin. I don't know if you can see, just a sort of round mark. Yeah, I taped in a coin, uh, well, glued and then taped. And it just sort of, it comes down a bit flatter back into where it should land. Because otherwise you get this horrible bending problem with it going like that. And that's no good. I also, I've done it so you can do that if you hold it from underneath. But when you're fighting, you don't really want to be doing that. So you just sort of fling your opponents with with both sides. It's 3D enough so you can just pick it up. And I've flung Storm 2 about so many times it's smashed up. I've rebuilt it. It's fine. Um, Storm 2 I would show you, but I can't get to it right now. Um, but yeah, the parts arrived and it's all fixed. It looks basically the same as before. So on to buying again. We've got two very special battle bots in Witch Doctor and Tombstone, and I'm really looking forward to getting um, Beta and Minotaur, or Minotaur, if you're uh, American and can't pronounce Minotaur. He. So yeah, these are these are the remote control ones. I would show you, um, but the remote controls are down there, so I won't. Um, but I, I was starting to get bored. I've had these since May. I was starting to get bored of not having something else. So there's this thing online called a... Um, what is it? A Tony Hawk's Hexbug Skateboard. Which you can take apart really easily and just fit um, the drive wheels inside something. Which is what I've done here. And a couple of coins for weight. With Scarab which is a two-wheel drive pusher, and it's quite nippy. I will show you it in the test arena, in the BattleBots arena down there, so nice little cut for you here, and then we'll be back over there. So these things you have to sort of roll to get started, um, which is fine. But yeah, side of the lighting's not great, but you can just about see Scarab, which has two settings, a slow and a fast. Um, really good at spinning it, not so good at driving it yet, and it's a little bit uncontrollable at times. Believe it or not, this is slow mode. We then have faster mode. And let's get a good spin going on, shall we? It spins faster one way than the other, so... There's Scarab. And that's your lot. Sling your rope. See you next time.